Yep, I did it again. I hope y'all enjoy that. That's as best as I can do, given the circumstances. If you do not know, I'm informing you right now, my computer, uh, well, it was being repaired, um, but FedEx damaged uh, my computer when they shipped it to get repaired, so that's a whole nother subject I don't want to bring up. Uh, just my computer won't be here for a while, so I have to do videos like this. Um, yeah, that's for the title, right? Uh, for those who have just joined me, I am Rome. Welcome to He Smells Like Rome. I truly appreciate you guys joining me. Uh, this is something a little different, but I can't take credit for it. I, I borrowed this from another fragrance reviewer, a pretty cool guy. His name is Equality Fragrance. Uh, if you have not seen his videos, he's very knowledgeable and enthusiastic about his fragrances and you can tell when he really likes something I'm a uh, uh, hopefully I can put his link in the descriptions below um, but check out his Instagram check out his YouTube channel he's blown up dope dude uh, but okay so what this is and I hope I can say it correctly this is one fragrance for each season right so I have to pick one fragrance for, for each season from one specific house that I truly, truly love and will always wear if it was only that particular house. So, I'm gonna do that. This is what this is gonna be. But, with a little twist on it that I borrowed from my man Equality Fragrances is there's a runner up. So, that's how we're gonna do it. And since we're in spring, we're gonna start off with the spring. Real quick, let me take a sip of my tea. And we're gonna get this thing popping. Alright. So the first one is from Julie Mod, and that is Therese Saint Germain. Hopefully you can see that. If you have not seen my videos, I do have a full review of this fragrance up on my channel. And this is and has been my number one spring fragrance for probably two years straight and this features two dominant notes one is rhubarb and the other one is grapefruit super zesty super vibrant and one of the best twizzler like rhubarb uh, smells I've ever had put my nose on and when I tell you the this fragrance lasts like 10 hours especially on your clothes you cannot cannot miss this there's a sleeper in the fragrance community but you guys that trust my judgment or you want to try it out go try it out so that's the fragrance that i would wear in the spring and the runner up is a new fragrance that just dropped late uh last year and that is uh stairway to heaven now stairway to heaven i do not have a full bottle but i did do a first impression video so uh, check that one out. It's somewhere on my page. I'll put a link in that one too. Um, Stay with Heaven is very airy. There's literally a, a, I don't know how they captured it, but it smells like a fresh breeze just passed you by with iris, with berries, with fruit, with uh, a floral, a, a very, very like tart floral but light on the tartness it, it, this heliotrope this iris note and this fruit and, and uh red berry note is crazy man but for me when i spray this it's like i'm outside and i smell some air it's really really good so that would be the runner up all right so we're going straight to um summer so summer for me there's nothing better from Juliet Ma for the summertime, and that is Nia. Nia is, oh, straight up, this is dates with a raspberry, with a blackberry, with a cherry, and a whole bunch of other stuff in there. But dates and berry notes make this 
the perfect sweet, slightly syrupy, best combination for a summer night. Beautiful fragrance. This is why this would be my summer pick. The next one, I do not have a bottle of it, but you guys have to check it out. It's called Aqua Sextus. Aqua Sextus will be purchased before this summer is over. That is an absolute fantastic fragrance. Green, aquatic, um, slightly sweet. It, it smells and tastes, I can't say taste, but it smells like uh, lime lemonade icy. But it's beautiful. If you can sip on them icies and you're probably at the beach, that's the best way I can put it. So Aqua Sessus would be the runner up. Let's move on to, we step it into the fall, right? So fall is just leaving the summer, still a little hot, we in the probably 70s, trickling back into the 60s, late September, early October, and that would be perfect for this beautiful fragrance right here. And this is Ninshaw. Ninshaw is one of the most jammiest, I don't even know if this word, it, jammy rose. It's a sweet rose, it is rose petals, rose stem, a wet rose, gorgeous, jammy. At the end is a little woody, but when I tell you if you're looking for a different rose, I'm not talking about Portrait of a Lady. Portrait of a Lady. I'm not talking about um, um, what's it? Uh, Noir du Noir. No, I'm talking about Ninja. Nothing like this on the market, and great for the beginning of the fall. Next up. And that is the runner up right here. And I hope that I'm not butchering this. I do not have a full bottle of this yet. This is Monsol Desert. Hopefully I'm saying it right. Y'all can look it up. I'll put the name down at the bottom. But this is cardamom. This is more in the later part of the fall, guys. Cardamom. This has a suede note. Um, this has uh, pink pepper, it's slightly smoky, very spicy, it has a little bit of a nutmeg in it. I wouldn't even say sweet, I'd say a, like a leather note, but it's, the leather isn't very prominent in this. The cardamom, the nutmeg, and the pink pepper is beautiful. If you look for a spicy aromatic fragrance, definitely check that. So that's the runner up for the fall. Now we jump straight into the winter, right? And when I tell you, if you're a fan of my channel, you already know what this is. You gotta know what this is if you're a fan of my channel. The winter, man, is probably my favorite time to wear fragrances because you get to wear the most daring, the most uh, strong, the most abstract fragrances that you can possibly get your hands on. And you can kind of experiment. You can try something that you normally wouldn't wear in 80, 90 degree weather. And that is none other than Amor di Palazzo. Now, Amor di Palazzo is still, I've had this fragrance for probably almost six years, right? And this is still my favorite fragrance in my entire collection. I've had come across some, and I mean, there's some bangers, I got some bangers, but this is the quintessential perfect fragrance, in my opinion. There's nothing that I've smelled that will beat this. And this has suede, this has leather, this has Ooh, this has nutmeg. This has spicy kind of... Ugh. 
this is a dream come true. That's all I'ma say, man. This is everything I've wanted in a fragrance and then some. The more Di Palazzo is beginning of the winter, middle of the winter, end of the winter, this will last. It, you can even wear this in the fall. But this is seriously just a sexy romantic fragrance. So that's my pick. The runner up, right, is Fuji de More. Now Fuji de More has a carnation note mixed with a ginger that is just so complex that it is hard to describe what this smells like. If I tell you what I think it smells like, you're gonna be like, oh, I'm not wearing that. But it's pleasant. This smells like if you had, think of a black licorice or the black jelly bean. Now the taste, most people, 95% of people do not like the taste of the black jelly bean. But if you take a moment and just smell it, not taste it, the smell is actually very pleasant. So mix that with the carnation and ginger, just in a smell sense. That's what this smells like. Now, this is going to be a full bottle purchase, absolutely. Between aqua sex, this and this, it'd be one and two. Don't know which one I'm gonna get first. Most likely aqua sex is for the summertime. But this is definitely a winner for the winter. And when I smell this, I go crazy. I'm like, what the fuck? This is 